Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at mastering our math skills. So we will be subtracting whole numbers and fractions today in this short video. Quickly, I wanted to take a review of what a fraction is versus a whole number. A fraction is written as a part out of a whole. So the part or the numerator, the number on the top, tells us how many out of the bottom number are included. So you see two pictures here. The, the one on the left is 7 out of 8. 7 out of 8 of the pieces are blue. It's part out of the whole. Then over on the right, 3 out of 4 pieces. With a whole number, all the pieces are included. So a whole number would be 1, or 8 out of 8, 4 out of 4. When the numerator and the denominator are the same, that equals one whole number. When we're subtracting fractions, it looks like this. The whole piece, minus 3 out of 8 of the pieces, gives us 5 out of 8 pieces left over. But to be able to do that type of subtraction, first we need to convert that whole number, 1, into a fraction. So it becomes 8 out of 8 minus 3 out of 8, which gives us 5 out of 8. Now this is a tutoring session, so we are going to practice. I want you to pause the recording and try this one. Try to solve these three practice problems, then come back and watch the full solutions that I give. That's not a good color. Come on, there we go. With each of these fractions, or with each of these whole numbers, I should say, we have to make them into fractions. So one becomes nine over nine. Now the reason I'm picking the number nine is because I have to match the denominator from the second fraction. What in the world? That was strange. So it becomes 9 out of 9 minus, and of course now I'm distracted and writing silly stuff on there, 9 out of 9 minus 7 out of 9, which leaves us with 2 out of 9. In our second example, we are going to match the denominator of 3. So, it's, so our whole number 1 is going to become 3 out of 3 minus 1 out of 3, which gives us 2 out of 3 as our final answer. In the third question, we are matching the denominator of 8. So it's going to be 8 out of 8 minus 5 out of 8, which leaves us with 3 out of 8. That's how we subtract from the number 1. Now there are whole numbers other than 1. This should not be a surprise to anybody. This is an example of the whole number 2. It would be 16 pieces out of 8, so an 8 out of 8 and another 8 out of 8, a full filled in shape. And we've got 3, which would be, in the case of my example here, 4 out of 12. You might notice that the numerator, in this case 16, is the product of these two numbers. 8 times 2 gives us 16. 4 times 3 gives us 12. The numerator is the product of the denominator and the whole number we're trying to find. So now what we're going to do is practice with these three problems. You're going to convert the whole numbers into fractions and then subtract. Pause the video and then come back for the full solution. Hello, welcome back. We are using the number 9 in this first fraction. We want our denominators to both be 9. That's the easiest way to subtract or add is when they have common denominators because then you don't have to create a new one. So if they have the denominator of 9, what I need to do is multiply 9 times 2 which gives me 18 out of 9. That is my first 
fraction, 18 out of 9, minus 7 out of 9. Do we see where we came up with that? 18, you can also look at that as 18 divided by 9, and 18 divided by 9 gives us 2, our whole number. So these are equivalent, 2 is equivalent to 18 out of 9. Now 18 minus 7 gives us 11 out of 9, and if we are simplifying this, we would use some quick long division to see that our mixed number is 1 and 1 half, or 1 ninth, I'm sorry, what in the, it is not 1 and 1 ninth, just let me erase all of, this is so distracting when it does this. All right, when you're changing it into a mixed number, try not to ever touch a button that you don't mean to touch. So we end up with 1 and our remainder of 2 over 9. That is our final answer. In our next one, we're going to convert 3 into being a fraction of 9 over 3. We came up with the numerator by multiplying 3 times 3 gave us 9. Now we're subtracting 5 over 3, which leaves us with 4 over 3. I really don't know what's going on. Come on. That's the weirdest 4 I've ever seen. 4 over 3. Again, I can simplify that using long division. 3 divided by 4 leaves us with 1 and 1 third as our final mixed number. In our final question, we're converting 2 into a fraction. We multiply 7 times 2 to get 14 over 7. And we are subtracting 9 out of 7. And we will be left with 5 sevenths. No need to simplify in this one. So there are three practice problems with whole numbers subtracting fractions. I hope that video was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.